Uh, two for three. Oh, there's another one. Boom. Hi, my name's Rico, and welcome back to Brooklyn and Brooklyn Cooking. Even though we're not doing any cooking today, we're making limoncello. And I brought out three bottles of limoncello to maybe take a little fear out of this for you, but to show they're all a little different. This bottle is 28% alcohol by volume. This one from Italy is 30% alcohol by volume. And this one that I bought in Amafi when we were there in November uh, is 32% alcohol. So a lot with limoncello is how you like it and what, what alcohol you start with and what result you're gonna get. Uh, to give you an idea, a little, little lesson on al alcohol percentage and volume, this is a Canadian whiskey. Royal Crown. If you look at the back, it's 40% alcohol by volume or 80 proof. Proof is very simple. It's just double the alcohol content. This is a scotch that's a little stronger, 46% alcohol. It doesn't give you the proof, so it's not required anymore, but that would be 92 proof. And this is what I like to use. This is grain alcohol. This is almost pure alcohol. This is 96% alcohol or 192 proof. Uh, so what you start with, a lot, of, a lot of recipes say you use vodka, but vodka is 40% alcohol. And when you, when you water it down and put some water and sugar in at the end, we'll get to that later when we actually make the limoncello, uh, you don't have to add very little or if you you dilute it by half, you're going to have 20% alcohol, it's going to be very weak. Anyway, a little story. When we were in the Mafi uh, in November, first time we were back in Italy in 40 years since our honeymoon, uh, went back for our anniversary, and the first time I visited the Amalfi Coast this time, we were walking around the streets of the Mafi and they had little stands selling uh, limoncello, and they also had lemons. So I figured, you know, for years I wanted to make limoncello and was always afraid, never did it. I said, let me buy some lemons. So I bought three lemons. There were three lemons for five euros. I still won't forget that. And I figured I'd bring them home and I'll make limoncello. Anyway, a couple of nights later, maybe a night or two before we were coming back to the States, uh, we're sitting in a restaurant in Rome, you know, restaurant woman next to us sitting next to me in a different table but very close i start talking to her and she's from seattle but she lives half the year in italy and i told her about my lemons and she said oh no 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 you can't bring that back that's against the law you're going to get in trouble i said lemon i know you can't bring me back i can't bring a lemon back to the united states you can't bring it back to new york no 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 went back to the hotel i looked it up sure enough she was right and i read a little more and the article said you know, just don't try to sneak it in. Don't try to smuggle it in. Put it down on the, uh, the, the customs form that you have lemons. If they take them away, they take them away. Don't try to sneak them in. So that's what I figured I'd do. I, I brought them in the carry-on, and as we're flying back to the States, the captain comes out of the speaker and he goes, oh, by the way, you notice we didn't give out any customs forms because the United States did away with that. I said, oh, shit, I'm screwed. What am I going to do? So I said, I'll just, as soon as I get up to the custom guy, I'll say, I got lemons. You know, I don't know if I'm allowed, but I have them. But anyway, we get off the plane after sitting on the runway for two hours. I don't even want to talk about why. Uh, we got through the first part of customs where they just check your passport. Then time to get our bags. And I figured we get our bags, then we're going to go through customs. Then we'll check everything. Take a couple more steps, and we're in the street. And that was it. I had my lemons, and I made the lemon shell. If there's any custom agents listening to this, I made that story up for entertainment purposes. Basically, we're just going to make about a quarter of lemon shell, which, which would be about two cups of of this alcohol, which is 96 percent. Now, when you get lemons, it's important to try to get organic lemons because all we're going to use is the peels and if you don't buy organic lemons they're covered with wax and you don't want that you don't that want that wax infusing into the alcohol so you just 
If you can, get organic lemons. If you can't get organic lemons, clean them very good. Put them in a colander, boil some water. Pour the boil water over them. You're not, gonna, you're not going to ruin them. Just get them as clean and get that wax off as much as you can. So all we're gonna do is take a peeler and all we want is the yellow part. So we see this white there? You, do, you want to avoid that. You, want, you don't want to take the white. That's bitter. You just want to try to get the lemon, the, the, the yellow part. And if you can make a basket, you can probably have, try to have a little fun in there. Oh, I mean, this that one. So, eh, two for three. Oh, there's another one. Boom. Ah, that overshot. Dave the Busher would be proud. Oh, lost one. We got our lemons peeled. You know, you, you surely to get a little white, you just take a little paring knife, cut it off. Not the end of the world. You know, you get a little white in there, it's not gonna matter. You just don't want a lot of white. You know, throw the lemons in the jar. So I wanna make about a quart, so I'm gonna measure out two cups of this grain alcohol. Pour that on the lemons. Screw on a tight, this uh, a top. We don't want it to be air tight. You know, this, these these are uh, these I use for bread making. Uh, they'll let a little layer out. Uh, that's it. You just shake it up, set it, and forget it. It's gonna sit two to three weeks. Okay. When after we we're done, we're left with lemons. You don't want to throw them out. These are expensive organic lemons. Uh, I don't know how the long they'll last like this. You put them in the refrigerator, it'll last a while, but I know if they took the skin off of me, I wouldn't last too long. But, you know, you could squeeze them out, freeze the juice, use it right away. When life forgives you lemons, you make lemonade. You know, we have to make a simple syrup for the limoncello later on anyway, in a, in a couple of weeks. You know, make limoncello, make, make a simple syrup now, make lemonade. Uh, figure it out. Okay, about three weeks have passed and through the magic of TV or the internet, uh, we now have our seep lemon. As you can see, they turn a nice, the, the alcohol turned a nice bright yellow, but we, wanna, we want to strain this a little. So we take the strain, we wanna strain it a lot. We, we gotta get the lemon peels out of there. So you got a big, big container. Get the lemon peels out of there and you see how brittle they became that's when you know the lemons have given up all their they're going to give up they become very brittle and you could just break them in half okay we'll dump that we pour it back in here for a minute and we'll give it another strain Okay, now we'll go through a little coffee filter. Just we want to get as much of these particles out of here as we can. Now you know why your coffee takes so long to make. And we'll see what we have, we'll measure. Start out with two cups. We got just about that. We lost, I spilt a little, so we lost a little. We want to add a little simple syrup. This is water and sugar. Just basically a simple syrup. I'm going to add about a little more than I put in. Now we'll get into the math a little bit. Want a little more water. Because I, I like mine strong. So with this combination of six, 16 ounces of, of this, which is 96% alcohol, that's about 15 ounces of alcohol, uh, but it's, I mean, 15 ounces of alcohol, but it's about 16 ounces of liquid. I want to add about 18 ounces of liquid to get to 45%. If somebody's using grain alcohol and they want to get down to the 33% that is most commercial alcohol, you want to add about two parts water to one part. 
of your alcohol mix. And basically that's about it. You mix it up a little bit. A lot of recipes will say let, let it stand a little bit, you know, a couple of days, or you could just bottle it right away. The choice is yours. You know, for this purpose, we're going to we're going to put it in a bottle. Yeah, not the newest, neatest guy in the world. Let's see if I can overflow this. I have a little left to drink. Almost perfect recipe. Throw that there. You got a tap, top, and shake it up a bit. And we got something that looks like limoncello, if I you find the, find the one from the mouthy. It's somewhat similar. Okay, so we have a little leftover. So, something for the chef. So, we'll throw this in there. We'll give it a taste test. Freaking delicious. Nice kick. Like a almost like a liquor because it is about 90 proof or 45 percent alcohol uh the first time i made this i made, i made it when i got back from Amalfi, so it was ready for a little facebook christmas party that we had at a restaurant i brought it there and my gavon friend they nobody likes limoncello drank the whole bottle on me and i had to make another batch buongiorno and welcome to the limoncello wrap up and welcome to my backyard my fig tree behind me that I never get any figs on. Just a quick review on some of the alcohol content. Try to use grain alcohol whenever possible because it won't in infuse any extra flavors into the into your limoncello with vodka bay. And it's a little easier to work with when you have more of an alcohol content than cutting it close with vodka. So for my 96% grain alcohol, and that's going to be our goal to get to 30% alcohol by volume. If you like it stronger, adjust. So for 96% grain alcohol, I need one part of the alcohol after it's infused with the lemon to two parts of the simple syrup, which let's say for argument is 50% is water, 50% sugar. Now, if I was going to do this with vodka, I'm already at 40%, so how do I get to 30%? I have to use three parts of vodka to only one part of simple syrup. So if I do that same 50% water to sugar, you know, it's probably not going to be sweet enough. So I would just probably add a little more sugar to that to get, to get your sugar content up a little bit because you're really not adding much. I'll put my measurements in the description, and I'll also try to do something with using vodka. A couple of my friends have asked me, where do you get grain alcohol? At least in Brooklyn, I bought it twice. I went to two separate liquor stores and both of them had them. So it doesn't seem to be an issue here. I did read that in some states, it's illegal to sell grain alcohol. Just do it. It's going to take, you know, it'll be good from the beginning. It may not be perfect to your liking. Everybody's different. That's what makes the world go round. You like it sweeter, add a little more sugar. You like it stronger, a little less water and sugar. Uh, I, I did it very strong. I did it to about 45% or 90 proof. But you can do this. Do it the first time. Take some notes of what you did. Say, hey, it was too sweet. It wasn't sweet enough. But too sweet, you could just add a little water. Uh, just do it. Get it right and have fun doing it. And drink limoncello. If you, get, you, want, it, you want to get it better, do it again. You'll have more limoncello. And a river that she from Brooklyn and... Let's get this done.